My name is Julie Katz, and I'm a judge in the 20th Judicial Circuit, which is St. Clair County, Illinois. But more important for today's purposes, I am the chair of the 20th Judicial Circuit's Pro Bono Committee. Welcome to our annual Pro Bono Celebration. We host this event every year to highlight the amazing pro bono work that is being done locally. During this event, we will hear from Megan Kenny, who is the managing attorney for Land of Lincoln Legal Aid. And we will also hear from the pro bono award recipient that that organization gives out. Finally, we will also hear from Supreme Court Justice David Overstreet. Later on, we will hear more about some of the pro bono opportunities that are available in the 20th Judicial Circuit. I would encourage you to Take a moment and scroll down on the event page and read about these volunteer opportunities and to sign up to be a pro bono volunteer. So why is pro bono work important to me? Well, it's important to me because as a sitting judge, it's my job to make sure that everyone feels that they had a fair hearing when they leave my courtroom. It's the goal of every judge to be thought of as being impartial and fair. But when someone has to represent himself or herself, it's very difficult to make that person feel as though they're going to get a fair hearing or that they've had a fair hearing, especially if the other side is represented by an attorney. I am limited in the assistance that I can give to a self-represented litigant. And I've seen litigants in that position get frustrated when they don't know how to introduce exhibits. They don't know how to make evidentiary objections. They don't know how to respond to evidentiary objections and they don't know how to question witnesses. So they feel defeated from the get-go. As a litigant in that position, they feel that they're not being allowed to tell their side of the story because maybe there is an evidentiary objection that doesn't allow them to proceed with that particular piece of evidence. So they don't feel afterwards that they did have a fair hearing. They feel that justice is simply out of their reach. That is why it's important for everyone to have representation so that they feel as though the playing field is level. So why is it important for everyone to step up? And by everyone, I mean all attorneys to step up and agree to take on pro bono cases. I want everyone that appears in front of me to have representation. And that's not possible unless everyone does in fact step up to do his or her part. When I retire from the bench, I intend to, as I did before going on the bench, agree to represent clients on a pro bono basis. Until then, however, I will do what I can as a sitting judge to encourage attorneys to in fact take on pro bono cases. There's a few things that I can do. If for example, there's a line in my courtroom, I can let the attorneys that are representing clients on a pro bono basis come to the front of that line. Or I could perhaps create a docket that's just for pro bono attorneys. Maybe I could have a one hour docket be scheduled where only attorneys that are appearing pro bono would be able to appear on that particular docket and that could come shortly before my regular docket. That would hopefully help those attorneys get in and out of court on a much more expedited basis. And I'm hopeful then that private attorneys will realize the benefit of both sides. In some cases, there may be more than one side. There may be three sides to a case, but in any event, hopefully they will realize the benefit of all attorneys having representation you would think that an attorney might relish the fact that there's not going to be a, an attorney on the other side of their particular case, but honestly, most attorneys do not. They would much rather have both sides be represented. Cases and hearings go much more efficiently and much more smoothly when there are attorneys on both sides. I've been asked in the past, well, what good are you really doing for people? Is there anybody whose life you've changed by virtue of representing them in a pro bono case? And I can tell you from personal experience that I saw the life of a woman make a radical change as a result of having representation in a case. When I was in private practice, I would agree to take family cases from the land of Lincoln Legal Aid. And they are really good about sending out cases that they believe to be fairly simple, uncontested divorces, for example. And so they had sent this particular woman to me because she had reported to Land of Lincoln. She'd gone to their office and told them, my divorce is going to be uncontested. I just need an attorney that can prepare the paperwork. So she was referred to my office for that very purpose. She came in and she told me what the agreement was that she had reached with her husband. And she asked me to prepare that agreement. Now, she and her husband had been married almost 30 years. 
But what was really sad about this particular case was the fact that shortly before coming to see me, she had had a debilitating stroke. She was barely able to walk as a result of that stroke. And what was really sad about it was she could not see at all because she couldn't keep her eyelids open as a result of the stroke. She had to tape her eyelids open in order to be able to see. And when she came to my office, that's exactly how she appeared. Her friend had brought her because she could no longer drive. She had to give up her job of many years and she was living on social security disability. So this agreement that she had reached with her husband, they didn't have a home, but they agreed that each of them would keep the personal property that they each had already separated and divided. She also had told her husband that she was willing to waive any claim to maintenance and she was willing to waive any claim to any portion of his pension. Well, needless to say, I could not let her agree to that. So I convinced her that she was entitled after almost 30 years of marriage to maintenance and to a portion of his pension. And I will tell you, it took everything I had to convince her that she was entitled to those things. And so we advised her husband that that was the claims that we were making. And naturally he resisted that. And we had to go to court in order to be able to ask those things from the judge. And talk about taking strength on her part. She had never stood up to him during their 30 years of marriage. So it took everything she had to agree to go to court with me to ask for those things from a judge, but she did. And luckily we were successful. She was able to make a claim for half of his pension and she was awarded maintenance. So talk about a difference in her life. Her life was drastically different as a result of being able to get those things from a court, things that she was entitled to. Now, I'm not asking to be the hero in this situation. I did what any attorney would have done for her. What was important to me was the fact that somebody stepped up and helped her to fight for the things that she didn't have the courage to fight for or the strength to fight for. But for me, it was really gratifying. And I was really happy that I could be the one to do that for her. I honestly think in 26 years of practice, it was probably the best experience I'd ever had as an attorney. So it's stories like this that I think highlight the need for attorneys to step up and be willing to take on cases on a pro bono basis, because people really can benefit from the work we do. And now we'll turn it over to Land of Lincoln. And before I sign off, I just want to say to everybody, happy pro bono week. Thank you. Hello, my name is Megan Kinney. I'm managing attorney at Land of Lincoln Legal Aid in our East St. Louis office, which is in the 20th Circuit. It's my honor today to recognize Judge James K. Donovan as our James Bartolak Pro Bono Award winner for 2021. The Land of Lincoln Joseph R. Bartolak Pro Bono Award recognizes a attorney or judge for their high quality volunteer work and dedication, which has achieved exceptional results for our clients. In the nomination letter, it reads that we have a robust grandparents raising grandchildren grant. Under this grant, we help seniors who are raising grandchildren. Many of these cases are for minor guardianships and adoptions. In said cases, we always have a need for a guardian ad litem. Year after year, James Donovan answers Land of Lincoln's call and will waive his fees and serve as a pro bono guardian ad litem. He makes home visits to meet the children and grandparents and provides a timely and thorough report to the court. James gladly appears in court for hearings and practices law with the utmost professionalism and civility. Families that James has worked with are often surprised that a retired judge and attorney would take so much care and time with them. James has volunteered over 45 hours in the last four years and will be well over 50 hours after the completion of a pending minor guardianship. James Donovan is a wonderful asset to our pro bono roster. He always says yes to cases, and we can count on him to dutifully serve these children, families, and the court. Congratulations, Jim. In Jim's remarks, he wrote that it is, it is his great honor to receive the Land of Lincoln Bartolak Pro Bono Award, and that it is his pleasure to work with the diligent attorneys and staff at Land of Lincoln in the East St. Louis office. He says, quote, the work they do on a daily basis is a credit to the legal profession and an immense help to the most needy members of our community. And he hopes to continue to work with us for many years to come. Thank you, Jim, and congratulations and happy pro bono week. 
Hello and happy pro bono week. Congratulations again to this year's Land of Lincoln Award recipient. From the court's perspective, pro bono is an important part of our justice system because we continue to have an increasing number of our residents who cannot afford to hire an attorney in civil cases. While we have made great strides in Illinois to ensure all of our people have access to justice through many outstanding projects initiated by the Supreme Court Commission on Access to Justice, there still is no substitute for legal representation. I know throughout my judicial career and now as the Supreme Court liaison to the Commission on Access to Justice, I appreciate those lawyers who are doing their part to provide pro bono representation. I believe attorneys should volunteer to do pro bono work because it is our duty by virtue of the privilege we have to practice law in Illinois to do our part to meet the legal needs of our residents who cannot afford to hire an attorney. Prior to serving in the judiciary, I was proud to be able to take several cases through the Land of Lincoln Jefferson County Bar Association pro bono program. I found it to be personally rewarding and satisfying to know that I was helping not only my pro bono clients, but the Illinois Bar as well by my efforts in legal representation. While the need for pro bono legal services is great, there are so many ways in which you can lend your training and talents. We will now hear more about some of the pro bono opportunities available in the 20th Judicial Circuit. I also encourage you to scroll down on the event page to read more about these volunteer opportunities. Please sign up today to be a pro bono volunteer through one of these opportunities. Executive Director. Thank you for joining us for our Pro Bono Week celebration. We appreciate all of the speakers who joined us for today's event, and we are especially grateful to all of you who have provided pro bono legal services over the last year. We hope you have felt inspired today to do more for those in need. As you've just seen, whether through Pilly or one of our partners, there are a range of pro bono opportunities available to fit your interests and schedule. Please take a moment now to scroll down to fill out the volunteer form and sign up to volunteer with Pilly or one of our partners. And with that, we've come to the end of our celebration. See you next year and happy Pro Bono Week.